Hey guys, I'm testing out this kit lens that came with the Canon. I just want to see how it's going to go. It seems to hold up pretty well. I was going to be buying a new lens, but I might just use this, you know. It's kind of a ghostly effect. Cheers, buddies. So somebody asked me, what would be the languages you would choose to learn? The programming languages. Well, they're the programming languages that I teach. And those languages are... Number one, JavaScript, PHP, and Python. Why these three? Don't get me wrong. There are many good languages out there. I was reading an article just this morning, actually, on the uh, popular programming languages. So let me pull that up. There you go. Popular programming languages of 2018. You can see the list. Just freeze that there and you can take a look, ready? Okay, take a look and uh, pause the video, look at the list, blah, blah, blah. You got two different lists, so let me discuss. So, um, one list was derived from one source, one list derived from another source. You always have to look at the source of information when you're looking at these lists, top this or what this survey shows, because surveys can be designed to favor a particular language versus another language. It has to do with whether it be language rankings or political polls. You have to, you have to be very careful in terms of how the, um, the polls are designed. Anyhow, so in the list, you saw on one list, they said Java. Well, both lists, they actually say Java was a top language. Java is still hugely important in the programming world. Does it mean you got to drop everything to Java? No, it depends on the type of work that you want to do. Yeah. Uh, number two on one list, it was Python. Number two on the other list was C+. Was C. So you see, in one list, the T-I-B, T-O-B ranking, they gave C was number two. And in the other ranking, they put C at number one, two, three, four, five, six. That's that's quite a difference. Whereas in the other ranking, they put Python at number two, and they put, and in the other list, they put Python at number where is it? Python uh, number three. So not so different. Again, what you want to take away from these lists is that it depends on how you sample, where you sample. You got different rankings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Again. What noobs have to take away is that the language that you choose is not super duper important because once you understand your foundations, your fundamentals as your core, as I say, then everything else becomes pretty easy. So you could jump from one language to the other, especially the high level languages. What I mean, Java, Python, JavaScript, PHP, C Sharp, uh, Swift, all these languages will be very easy for you to learn because they're so similar in many respects. So, what languages would I learn in 2018? Well, these are languages I, that I put out courses on. So that's JavaScript, Python, and PHP. Why? Because with these three programming languages, you cover a very wide spectrum in terms of uh, job opportunities, business opportunities, in terms of the type of apps that you can create, type of software you can write. With these three languages, you got pretty much all of it covered. That's why I chose these three languages. I actually like these languages. Python, very popular. Uh, JavaScript, super popular. PHP, very popular for businesses. Now, there you go. That's the answer to that question. Let me just get back into the whole business end of code because that's what this site, well, this site, this channel is really about. It's about the practicality of coding. I'm not an academic. Um, if you want to get into the freelancing game, then it's PHP is the king, of course. If you want to get into the enterprise, go work for a very large organization, it's probably going to be Java or C Sharp, .NET. But in large organizations, they have HR departments, human resource departments, which means you're going to need some sort of degree, probably, to get those kind of jobs because it's just a artificial requirement that they put into place. Whereas if you get into the whole PHP world, it's typically small, medium-sized businesses, which means degrees are not required. So if you have a degree or you're doing a computer science degree, engineering degree, 
and you uh, want to get into the software development, then Java is cool, C Sharp, .NET is cool. But if you're not sure, Python 2 is cool. By the way, PHP is cool as well, but if you want to get into the game without having necessarily to get yourself a degree, then you want to be looking more at PHP, JavaScript, and uh, Python. I'm hoping you're starting to see why I chose those languages to put my programming courses out on. You know, I know Java very well. In fact, in my active programming days, when I, especially when I was doing a lot of work uh, as a freelancer, developing my own first SASs, I did it all in Java, Java Web, Java JSPs, Java JSP servlets and Pojo, played all Java beans. That was my um, that was my thing. I actually built my own little web architecture. It was more of a little, but it was a web architecture I developed from scratch for my own projects, based on my own projects. So, don't get me wrong, I, I like Java a lot. But I wouldn't be writing Java too much these days because you can, you can get your apps up and running much more quickly and more nimbly with nimble languages like PHP for the web stack, or like JavaScript, or Python. <laughs>